Excuse me. Is there anybody else that can come up here and help you? It's crazy, right? Yeah. Everybody's working for jobs. now hiring. Yeah. Everybody wants to work. They're going to have to. That high dollar of unemployment is going to run out pretty quick. Oh, yeah. They're still getting that. Yeah. And they're not coming back yet. They still taking advantage of that stimulus. Yeah. They're going to be all in for shopping. They don't get anything. Where's my check? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to have to get back to work. Yep, they still taking advantage of that stimulus joint. How long you been driving? Uh, about 18 years. Two weeks. Five years. Oh, you just started. You a newbie out here. Okay. Yeah. If you had to relocate to a different state of all the states that you've driven through, what state would you move to and it can't be your current state? I have to say Massachusetts. Boston, Mass yeah. Boston Massachusetts? Yeah. I really love Pennsylvania. Well, see, that's kind of weird because I did move to the state I wanted to. I've been driving for with a trainer a month and by myself two weeks, so six weeks total. Okay. But I've been to New York and all of the east side. Oh, I'd say I'd move to Montana. What sacrifices you had to make to get into the industry? Uh, my kids not being there for my kids, uh, my wife, uh, well, all that comes to uh, loss of time at home, so that's definitely a sacrifice. That's a horrible, that's a horrible, that's a horrible, oh man, a lot. You're in a padded cell all the time, uh, let's see, family, holidays? Well, I gave up my current job as a welder. I mean, I sacrificed that. You know I mean, that was a little. I, I was there for like 19 years. What are some of the issues drivers face in the industry today? Pay. You know what I mean. Uh, we need competitive pay. Seems like ain't no increases really changing. Weather conditions. Four wheel drivers. Reckless driving. Play on their damn cell phones, man. Just texting away, not paying attention. No common courtesy out here no more, man. Yeah, I'm for real. There's not. Why did you seek a tr uh, truck driving job? Oh, I got tricked into it. The money, definitely. Dude's like, hey, man, I'll teach you how to drive. I'll show you the U.S. And, well, hell, only thing I've seen is median, uh, highway median and another highway. I got tricked, didn't I? <laughs> that I make good money, so I can't complain. It was a dream since I was a kid from Mexico. No, short story, I went down to the EDD. The lady came up to me. was like, hey, we, we offering classes. And then I took up the... The class, class. classes, yeah, All so right. I took advantage of that. What motivates you in the truck? The money, I guess. That and the freedom. You get All to right. go everywhere and see everything. Better life for my family. Yes, I can say the pay. I like traveling. What frustrates you? Now, I think it's causing more accidents, make people fall asleep, I'm doing 64, 65 hours an hour. People That's on the road. The, the, some of the things they do, I just don't understand it. From 1 to 10, describe your dispatcher. It's 100. 8? I give him about an 8. Oh, I give them 11, man. They're awesome, dude. The dispatcher that I got now is pretty good. Do you think there's more training needed to be a trucker? Yeah, there is, man. There is. Why? Definitely. The showing of respect, I'd say. If you don't have a proper trainer, four weeks isn't even enough. Yes. Why? Because there, there's a lot of mistakes. Even the, or we, I've been doing it for 12 years. I got a lot of mistakes every day I learn. Those who have the most experience, they can't get too comfortable. See, you can find some people that have been out here a long time, they get real comfortable. Driver facing cameras, a deal breaker? Uh, it works. I know it, it, it exploits your privacy, but at the same time, it keeps you on your toes. Now I got one in my truck, man. Uh, no, it's good. It's, it's a positive. I hate it, oh but my it's in my truck. Would you work for a company that has it? No. What is the biggest reason people fail as truck drivers? The lifestyle. It's hard to tell. Sometimes it's a free trip. It's Inspection in the truck, herself, or sometimes in the hail condition, herself, and sometimes go on the easy path. Driver, what? And I see a lot of people fell in just drug use, alcohol, marijuana, cocaine. You know something about cocaine? Big I even see people PCP. They can't handle being alone or away from their family or just being gone for a long period of time. 
On the real, man. I was like, no, they ain't doing no PCP. Why does trucking companies say they treat you like family? Some they don't treat you like a number. Some they treat you like a human being and as a driver, not just a, a truck number. Just to get you there. We are a family. We are. We all look. You you don't see not nobody. The only trucks where you park and go home is like. That's all you see. You partners. It's like family. It's as so, so you see till you get home. They want they want to uh, want you to believe that narrative that just because it's a trucking that a person that who was in previously trucking on this company that you gonna get treated fair. Mm. And sometimes that's not the case, but that's why they say that. What has trucking done for you? Offer me a better life, man. It's been done a lot of well, good living to my family and uh, me a lot of new people every day. Got to see a lot of states in just a few short amount of time and uh, uh, money rolling in. Oh, it's done a lot for you, man. It really has. It's gave me a good outlook on life, family, and everything else. So.